What I want to show now is the analysis of a malicious document, a Word document, that is uh, quite complex to decode. So here it is. Now we have a couple of uh, forms here who are quite large. So let's first uh, look into them. Okay. And this here doesn't seem actually to contain real data or anything encoded. But the name of the property is uh, ratatatat. And the other one was 22. Yeah, and this seems to contain something uh, encoded. It's very likely that there's something uh, encoded. Let's look at the VB code. So let's search for that keyword. Okay, yeah, and indeed, so we have the form, the caption, that's a caption here, which is assigned to variable Elliot. And let's search for Elliot. Okay, and we can see that Elliot is uh, the argument of a function hunter. So this is probably a decoding function. We have Hunter here, decoding function. Now let's also see for gas. Okay, gas is assigned to mid August. And this here is the argument of a function differing. So let's search for differing. as a, a function here. So let's take all this code. I copy it to the clipboard and let's look at it in, a, in an editor. Okay, so here uh, we have the VBA code. And here, so we have uh, the value of our caption. So let's do an hexadecimal dump like this and copy this to the clipboard and then also paste this in our editor. Paste from Xtext like this and now we have our code here so okay so here our caption begin so let's remove all of this And our code goes to here, so let's remove this. Okay, so that is what we need to decode with the hunter function. Now, if we look at the hunter function, well, let's do a search for hunter. Here we have function hunter. 
and you will see that it is uh, quite complex. Now you also see that there are always empty lines between each statement. That is uh, because of uh, the file redirection. Uh, we can remove this. Now if we go to the hex view, here at uh, the end of a statement here, you see that you actually have a uh, carriage return and then carriage return new line. So let's replace this by carriage return new line. So let's uh, search replace and replace this with 0D, 0A, all. Replace all like this. And now we have uh, removed those empty lines. So let me search again for Hunter. So here we have the function and this function is quite complex. So we are not going to translate this to Python to be able to decode the payload, but uh, we are going to use VBA itself. And uh, this is how uh, I do this. First of all, I copy this function Hunter. It's quite long. Okay, here is the end uh, of the function. So let's copy this. And now I also have a, a special spreadsheet, decoder spreadsheet, that will help us uh, decode. So Let's take a look at the Visual Basic code here of sheet one. And what you have here is first encoded equals sheet to string, then decoded and then dump exascheme. So what this uh, does is, first of all, it takes a hex dump that is in the spreadsheet. Let me show you here. If you have a hex dump here, it will take this hex dump and convert this to a string. And then this string will be decoded by the F function, and that is our hunter function. And then the decoded function will be dumped as a hex and ASCII to a new sheet. And we will have a sheet for ASCII and a sheet for Unicode. So what I do here is paste my hunter function and I quickly go through my hunter function to see if it doesn't contain any calls uh, to create objects or uh, call to API functions because this could uh, trigger a payload or a function and we don't want that. We don't want to infect ourselves. So it doesn't look like it doesn't contain functions like this, uh, it uh, just looks like a string and a number manipulation. Okay. So this is our hunter function that we will execute on our uh, encoded text. And the encoded text, we also need to put it in the spreadsheet here in sheet encoded. So in my 010 editor here, I have my payload. So let me copy this. I select all. And then I do an edit copy as hex text like this. Sorry, to the spreadsheet. And now I paste this here uh, in the spreadsheet. paste like this. So now the spreadsheet contains the hex code. And now we can go back to the Visual Basic Editor. So the hex code in the spreadsheet will be decoded, will be converted, sorry, to a string. 
string encoded, this string will be passed on to the hunter function, which will record, return the decoded function, and that, uh, sorry, decoded string, and that decoded string we are going to dump to a sheet, an ASCII sheet, and Unicode sheet. So let's run this. Okay, and we get an error. We have a postscript function that is not defined. So let's search for that uh, postscript function in our uh, dump. Postscript. Okay, and here we have function postscript. And that looks to be a very simple uh, function. It's actually an AND function. So we can copy this and add it to our VBA code. Uh, it doesn't present a risk like this. And let's run this again. Oh, no, we are missing another function, virtues. So let's search for that function. Okay, and here it is. This is also a very simple function. It's a modulus function. So let's copy this and uh, paste this here. Like this, and now we can run this again. Okay, and now we get no errors. So it executed. So let's look at the spreadsheet and two new sheets have been added. This is the ASCII spreadsheet and this doesn't look actually like what we are looking for. Many uh, characters are the same, 3F. So let's look at the other one, Unicode, and this looks more like it. Here you can see virtual alloc, a string. Here you can see .exe. Here you can see expand environment string, str. So this, uh, here, here you have read file, get file size. So this uh, looks like the shellcode we are looking for. So we can copy this. like this. So I select the hex code. Copy. And now if I go to my 010 editor, create a new page, new file, and then say paste from hex text. Then I've pasted my shellcode here. And I can save this to disk. So shellcode bin.vir. So here now I have a file uh, with my shell code and I can use Radari to disassemble this. So the command is to print the disassembly. Block size is the complete file and after we done that we quit. And this is the shell code. And indeed this looks to disassemble to uh, proper code. So this uh, is uh, certainly shell code. Let me just redirect this to a file, LST, like this. So this is how you uh, decode uh, encoded uh, payloads uh, with uh, VBA code. If the VBA code is uh, too complex or you don't have the time to convert it to Python or, or another scripting language that you control, 
and uh, if you are not able to do that you can use VBA itself and the way we did it here uh, with the decoder function make sure that uh, we don't risk to actually execute a payload uh, and thus uh, infect ourselves.